to show you step by step how to pronounce the schwa. And what I want you to do is I would like you to have a mirror, okay? Something like a small pocket mirror that will allow you to see your mouth. Now, you don't need to check your makeup or your hair. Just look at your mouth here. Make sure your mouth looks just like my mouth while we're pronouncing. Now, if you don't have a mirror handy, you can also use your cell phone because the black screen also reflects back to you what your own mouth looks like. All right, so let's get started on pronouncing the schwa. Okay, so first of all, you need to relax your mouth your tongue, your jaw. Just let it all relax and kind of hang open just a little bit. You should not feel any muscles there. Then you want to also open your mouth slightly. Not completely, like you're going to the doctor and they're looking at your throat. Don't open it that much. And it should not be closed either. You want your mouth to be about halfway open. Okay, so your tongue needs to stay low in your mouth, right? And it needs to pull back slightly from your front teeth. If your teeth are here, pull your tongue back just slightly, as so. And then the sound will be short and low pitched. It's similar to the U sound in fun, but it's going to be shorter, low pitched, and quieter. So let's try it. Uh. Uh. Now again, check in your mirror. Make sure your mouth and tongue position look just like mine. Okay, the schwa is the most common sound in the English language. And you may never have heard of it. Can you believe that? It is the most common sound in the English language. So the schwa being so frequent in English is a sound that you really need to make sure that you're pronouncing correctly. And the schwa is the most common sound in the English language because most every word that has two syllables or more has a schwa sound in it and sometimes more than one because all of our weak syllables or most of our weak syllables will be pronounced uh. So remember, any spelling of a vowel, A-E-I-O-U-Y, or a combination, A-I-O-U, any of those could be pronounced as a schwa if they're in the weak syllable. And if you have a book or a practice program, or you consult a dictionary, you'll often see this special symbol that's used to identify the schwa. It's an E, the letter E, but it's turned upside down. So you'll often see that when you're looking at textbooks or the dictionary. And that is the International Phonetic Alphabet Symbol for A, uh, the schwa.